In this video, I'll show you how to scan a document using a scanner connected to any Mac computer. So it can be a MacBook, here I have a Mac mini, but it works with any Mac. So let's get started. The first step is to connect your actual scanner or scanner printer via USB to your Mac. You can also connect it to wireless, but really the simplest method is by USB. Now open the scan bed, place your document, depending how uh, you want it to scan. You need to align it with this small symbol here. Every scanner has that symbol or something similar. Align it there and now close the lid over the scan bed. Now on your Mac, you need to go into system preferences, which look like this. Then you need to go into printers and scanners over here. Once you're there, if your scanner or printer scanner is not in the list here, you'll need to add it by clicking the small plus button here. And here in the list that will pop up, you should see your printer being listed. All you have to do is to click on it. Mine is already there and press the add button. Once you do this, it's going to be on the list. Once you're done this, you're going to select the printer or scanner and then up here you're going to see scan you're going to click on it then you're going to click on open scanner open scanner it will give you a preview of whatever is on the scanning bed of your scanner it will take just a few seconds and on the right side here it's very important you'll have more options so here you can choose, do you want it black and white? Do you prefer color? You can check whatever option is better for you. The resolution here is very important. If you are scanning a picture, let's say, you need to have the highest number. So here is 1200. Maybe your scanner is even better than mine. So you have a highest number. Select the highest one. If you're scanning a, uh, let's say, paper document that doesn't have any pictures, it's not in, the resolution is not that important, you can select a lower number. Even 300 for, for any uh, basic documents is perfectly fine and the file will be a lot lighter. Then you have to select here if you want uh, a custom size. So let's say you just want this part of the scanning bed to be uh, recorded I mean to be saved you can select and you can just drag these corners here to where you prefer if you don't want a custom size then you can select one of these if you want a A4 paper right over here orientation as you can see here I did it on purpose but I put it upside down so I can correct it right over here and finally, where do you want your scan to go on your computer? Do you want to go in pictures or in another folder? You're going to select it here. You can choose any folder. Then what kind of name do you want the scan to have? If you're not happy what, with what you see, you can just type whatever you want. What kind of format here? Do you prefer JPEG or TIFF, PNG, PDF? This is again up to you, depending what you intend to do with the file. If you, it's just to share it online, then maybe JPEG is the better option, especially if you want to share it on social media. Image correction, don't touch this option, it's fine the way it is. Finally, when you're done, you're going to click the scan button over here and the scanner will warm up again and then a few seconds you'll have an image and depending what kind of dpi you choose here well it will influence how much time it will take 1200 dpi will take uh, quite a lot more time than uh, the lower settings at 75 or even 300 as you can see it barely starts doing anything because it's going to be a quite heavy scan but also with a lot of detail if you think it takes too much time you can always click the cancel button here and it will be canceled and you can select a lower dpi if you don't have the patience you see let's select 75 just to show you here we go it's a lot faster as you can see it took just what three four six seconds 
one the other one would have took at least a minute almost depending again on how fast your scanner is and you're done now you just have to go in let's say pictures here or whatever folder you want here we go in my pictures this is the file I just scanned and you can open it and check it out obviously I select the lowest setting 75 dpi so everything won't be that precise I really again don't recommend it if you are scanning a picture like in this but for text it's perfectly fine thanks for watching I hope this was useful please leave a like and why not even comment I'll see you in the next one